Hi, boys and girls. Today, we're going to look at a different type of graph. It's called a glyph. And if you were working with a group of friends, you would may be able to use your glyph data to compare and contrast. But today, we're just going to make one. And it's simple and fun. And it's about things in summertime or summer fun. Now, all you need is plain paper, something to draw with, and if you want markers to color in when you're done, that's fine also. We're going to be asking some questions and answering them, and then we'll talk about what you will draw on your paper. The very first thing you're going to do, though, is to draw a circle to make the middle of your sun. So here is the middle of my sun. That's all you have to do to get started. Now, we're going to answer some questions. The first question is, the thing that I like best about the summer is, is it going to the beach, going to the park, going to the swimming pool? Which one of those is your favorite thing. See, I have a list here that I'm using. Okay, number two, do you wear sunscreen? Yes or no? Question number three, my favorite treat to have in the summer is watermelon, popsicles, or ice cold lemonade. And number four, the worst part about the summer is all the bugs, being all sweaty, or not getting to see my school friends. So you want to jot the answers down to those four questions. The thing I like best about the summer is going to the beach, going to the park, or going to swimming pool. Write down your answer. Number two, do you wear sunscreen? Yes or no? Write your answer. Number three, my favorite treat to have in the summer is watermelon, popsicles, or ice cold lemonade. Write your answers. And then number four, the worst part about summer is all the bugs, being all sweaty, not getting to see my school friends. So write your answers down and keep them to the side so that you'll be able to create your sun glyph. Now we're going to use my answers to create my sun glyph. We started out, remember, by drawing the circle the middle of our sun. Now, the first thing we want to do is draw sunglasses. Now there are three types of sunglasses. My answer was going to the beach. So we're going to draw rectangle sunglasses. For our son, for my son, and we're going to put a design on our glasses. Okay, so I like the beach, so my sunglasses are rectangle. Now, if you said you preferred going to the park, I'm going to show you what your sunglasses will look like. They will be oval shape. So they will be oval shape. No matter what, all of our glasses have the lightning bolt down the rays. So this is oval shape for if you like to go to the park. Now, if you liked the swimming pool, your glasses are going to be heart shaped.
So, remember, this one is a rectangle for going to the beach, oval shape for going to the park, heart shaped for going to the swimming pool. All right, now, our next thing is, do you wear sunscreen? If you wear sunscreen, then your sun is going to have an even number of sun rays. And if you do not wear sunscreen, you will have an odd number. Remember, even numbers are counting by two, two, four, six, eight, ten. So you want to give your sun an even number of sun rays if you wear sunscreen. I said yes, I wear sunscreen. So. So I gave my son 12 sun rays, and 12 is an even number. So you could count my sun rays and say, oh, 12 is even. So this person wears sunscreen at the beach. If I didn't wear sunscreen, I either would have drawn one more for 13 or took one away for 11. I would have had an odd number of sun rays. Now, my favorite treat to have in the summer is, and you had three choices. You have watermelon, popsicles, and ice cold lemonade. My choice was ice cold lemonade. So my smile looks like this because I like ice cold lemonade. Now, if you like watermelon, you're going to have a toothy grin. If you like watermelon, you will have a toothy grin. If you like popsicles, you're going to have a silly grin. If you like popsicles, you're going to have a silly grin. If you like watermelon, you're going to have a toothy grin. And if you like ice cold lemonade, you're going to have a silly grin. So if you like watermelon, toothy grin. If you like popsicles, the funny looking grin. And if you like ice cold lemonade, you're going to have the big grin. Now, the worst part about summer. All the bugs would be blue. So you would take blue and whichever glasses you chose, you would color the streak blue on each lens. Being sweaty, you would color the streak red. Not getting to see my school friends, you would color the streak green. Okay, mine was being sweaty. So, I'm going to color the streak in my glasses red. So, I did not like being sweaty, so I colored the streak in my glasses red. Now, once you've done your glyph, now I can look at this and say, okay, 
I know by looking at this, this person in the summertime likes to go to the beach, likes to drink ice cold lemonade. I count the rays. I see an even number. Oh, well, they wear sunscreen and they have a red streak in their glasses. So they don't like being sweaty. They think that's the worst thing. So that's how we would read the glyph using our key. So it's just a fun way to compare your answers. You could do it with your brothers and sisters or do it with your parents and look at each of your glyphs and see how they're alike and how they're different and use the information from your glyph to answer questions about wearing sunscreen, not wearing sunscreen, what type of activity you like best in summer, what do you, your favorite treat in summer, and then with the color, what is the worst part of summer. So I hope you have fun making a sun glyph with your family and friends and talking about it. If you want to, then you can even take your crayons or markers or color pencils and you could color in the rays on your sun. You could color in the background of your sun. Hope you have fun and have a great day.